Okay, uh, let's play Brogue. So, new game, and uh, we'll do the seed here, Tilda. Okay, so there's the seed, and uh, yeah, we'll start off up to the right here. So, okay, look at that rat first. All right, these first couple levels are just about kind of gathering up everything we need, we're going to need later. Okay, uh, a little bit of grass here. So, go over here. All right, as usual, pop down the stairs. Yeah, I've been playing a little bit this week, trying to kind of improve my improve my play and stuff, and I've been getting down to around level 10 or so a little more consistently. So hopefully we'll have a good run here and see. Uh, as far as making let's play videos, it's uh, let's play videos are, are brutal actually of roguelikes. Watching yourself play and realizing all the mistakes you're making, um, you know, kind of seeing it on replay is is pretty brutal. But hopefully, um, kind of make me a little better rogue player. So. Um, yeah, I guess the idea for me on the first, oh shoot, that was a misclick, um, on these first couple levels is to kind of just grab everything and, uh, start on the potion, start on the potion IDs at least. So here we still have some deep water. I gotta find a different way over there. Um, what's going on here? I don't think usually there's any hidden stuff on the first few levels here. So, oh, of course there's a whole door over there I missed. All right. And I, I think there's also no eels on the first level, which is which is kind of a nice way to get started uh, since they're pretty brutal. All right. Um, actually, I wonder if this is a good place to uh, to test some potions. Well, I, I think there's some other opportunities here yet. All right. Let's go through here. Um, yeah, so let's just get back over here. Okay. And there's a jackal and a couple of rats. Hopefully I can get the jackal out of the way before these guys get here. Okay, they're not too bad. I've been fighting rats a lot in the uh, in the new kind of key room that um, spews out all the rats and paralysis gas and stuff. It's been pretty been pretty crazy. So let's just do a little search here. Okay, I think we're I think we're ready to get out of here. Um, I guess we'll grab the gold. I don't usually get it, but okay. All right. Um, and then as far as testing any um, as far as testing potions, yeah, let's do that over here maybe. All right, so um, we can kind of run away if it's if it's a problematic one. Apply E. Okay, good. F. So fire is not going to be a problem. Hallucinating is no good. G. Okay, paralysis. Fine. And then uh, H. Potion of life. And then J. Levitation. Okay, I'm still hallucinating, which actually that's one of the worst. Um, oh wait, I'm not. I wonder what happened there. Um, paralysis. Oh, and then I think I did a potion of life, which took the um, hallucination away, I guess. Not 100% sure about that, but so I think we've discovered a bunch of potions, right? And then anything else that needs doing? A scroll, but I think we can just hold off on those until a little deeper. So yeah, that's a good trick actually to uh, get rid of the um, hallucination is with the potion of life. If, if a toad hits you, I think it only lasts like 20 turns, but that, um, man, those potions of uh, hallucination are a real pain. Um, let's see what we can do to this guy. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And then did he carry that? or Yeah, he just took it whilst we were engaged there. All right. Um, yeah, those potions of hallucination are pretty nasty. I think I'll just get rid of this guy now. All right, good. Throw those darts. Let's see what's down here first. Yeah, second level is not too bad, although you have to start watching out for eels, I've found. So this is looking good. Got a staff. Search a little bit. Go down here and search maybe. Okay. So I think we're okay as far as going over on the right is concerned. Let's try this staff out. F. Oh, lightning bolt, nice. And a puce potion. Okay, let's go over here. And there might be some stuff down here. Whoops, let's not dive into the depths. Anything here? No, okay. Okay, diagonal, there's a rat. Dispatch him quickly, okay. So now we can start moving over to the left and let's also just poke our heads down here. I might grab that, I usually don't like to get too ahead of myself, but occasionally I'll grab a potion to uh, 
then I can kind of just do some batch ID action here. Okay, this might not be too good. Come on, guys. I think these guys are just asleep here. Um, hmm, I think I'm going to go down over here. Fight these guys one at a time. Okay, there we go. And I think that goblin saw me. Early on, the stealth is, is usually pretty good. Um, and I've been... Okay, stealth range doesn't show much right now, but... Later on, once you get some decent armor, pretty much everything hears you, like, immediately. So, okay, let's get rid of this guy. All right, see how we're doing for scrolls yet. All right, not too much exciting yet. Okay, leather armor. I guess we'll grab it, although we already have one. Another scroll. Okay, looks like there's something left. Do a little search here. Search. Actually, I think I'm going to go into like this room over here and try and pop a couple potions. So um, health is okay. So the worst worst case scenario would probably be incineration, but I think I can just go into the next room if that happens. I'll stand by the door. Apply G. Invisibility is no problem. Apply H. Strength. Okay. So we're doing pretty well for IDing potions here. Yeah, and actually we've got most of the good ones that we want. Um, telepathy is nice as well. And then there's just a bunch of bad ones left, so... Here comes this guy. Oh, he missed. Okay, I, that was weird. Normally they, they see you. Search here. So I want to see my stealth range here. Oh, so I have a really small stealth range. I wonder what's going on. So what's... So let's see. What's causing that? Their armor, maybe. Oh, I'm invisible. Duh, that's why. Okay. Okay, so we can actually just turn that off. We just... Okay, so now we're on three. We have to watch out for groups of goblins. And it looks like there's some kind of ally down there, so... Um, oh, and then that was a potion of some type. And there's a rapier somewhere? I definitely want that. Um, okay, so a captive monkey. That's not that exciting, but it's better than nothing. Free the monkey, yes. And then there's a goblin next to the rapier here. Oh, he's kind of getting me here. All right, we'll just jump in the water to get that rapier before the eel does us in. So let me just do the messages here and see if I already lost my monkey. Yeah, the eel defeat. I'm not surprised. I'm not very good with the allies. Um, especially the weaker ones. It's, it's really nice later on if you like pick up an ogre or something. Oops. Okay, so where do we want to go here? I think we're still pretty safe. Let's look on this inventory. Okay, so we haven't found any scrolls where there's two of them yet. And that's usually an indication that that's an enchant scroll. So that's kind of a tip, I guess, that I picked up on. Okay, another potion of strength. H. We're almost ready to use that rapier here. A mauve potion. So let's see what we've discovered. Just thinking about the potion game here. Yeah, I'm not ready to throw a potion yet that I don't know. So I think... I don't even think we need to bother with that rat. And the health is okay. Um, so I think we need to head over to the other side of the level to try to find the key machine. And... Okay, here's two of these guys. So what's going on with my stealth situation here? Okay, so this guy's going to see me. Not invisible anymore. Okay. Okay, I have another scroll. Okay, so this is four. Okay, we don't want to hang out down here yet. Um, okay, looks like we need to go around this other way. Oh, so what's going on here? Um, oh, I must have missed something down here. Or we might need to, like, levitate to go... I'll punch the hole in the ground. That's okay. So inventory. All right. So if we see anything nasty, we can always use the lightning. And uh, we're one. You know, we could enchant the rapier as kind of an intermediate or sort of mid, you know, mid-game weapon, I guess. Okay, sleeping monkeys. I think we can leave them. I kind of just want to go back upstairs. So that was the downstairs, I think. Yeah, because I fell through a hole. Um, I'd like to leave that toad, please. 
Uh, looks like we're going to have to. Okay, so let's just throw some darts at this guy to soften him up a little bit. Okay, so yeah, probably going to hallucinate here, but it's okay. Th yeah, this one doesn't last as long. Okay, this is fine. So there's something up in the corner there. I guess it could be bad if it was a centipede or something, but... Oops. No, that's a monkey. I think I might lightning bolt him. Okay, so let's see what he took. The imp stole my scroll. Definitely don't want that to happen. I should save the lightning, but give it a try. Okay. And we're done hallucinating, which is good. So try up here. Okay. Rat. Oh, goblin. All right, so we're not too high on health, but I think we need to kind of keep on going. Ooh, food. Always good. Always good to find food. And then another unknown potion. Okay, and then up this door, it looks like there's just one tile. All right. So let's go back up to three and see if we can get into that vault. That's kind of a priority here. And we've got a few more potions to kind of ID when, when the time is right. Okay, hopefully there's not a bunch of these guys. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm still kind of not, not real strong yet. So, good. Let's get out of here. Oh, shoot, that was the downstairs. I already found the upstairs. Oh, okay, stupid. Sometimes I mix those up. It's just how it goes. So what's the best way to get there? This way, I guess. Up here. Resist the temptation to look around too much. Okay, so 14 strength, and I just have a dagger, and I have to face a jelly here. I think this is actually okay, but I think just to smooth things over here, we'll try this lightning again. Yeah, so these guys are pretty low here already. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that wasn't too bad. And I think I'm okay for that. I'll leave those blood wart there for later. Yeah, I wish I did. kind of knew what I was doing and did this earlier. Okay, so looks like we maybe need to go over here. Let's see what's here. Okay, so we have to watch out for eels in here as well, which could kind of end our game. And then another toad. Okay, well, I think we can use the lightning bolt in here, but let's throw a couple darts at him. And then maybe just a staff of lightning just to, uh, I don't think that causes fire. And then we can figure out how many charges it has to. Okay, didn't get, didn't get hallucinating. And then, okay, no scrolls where we have two of them yet, which is usually how I figure out which, which is enchant. And then I usually try to jump on the enchanting here. Okay, so can we do, looks like we need to go around. Okay, hope no eels show up. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, I've already got one of those. Uh, spear, I guess that's an option. Another door key or a scale mail. I'm kind of thinking to get the other door key and maybe try to get something different. Um, I'm not too excited about a spear. So let's grab the door key for the next vault and go up. Oh, I'm gonna get up. I guess we got to kind of trace our way out of here. Oh, shoot, what's going on here? Okay, so we're going to have to go down to the next level. Let's eat something. Apply some food. I don't think there's any way to get back unless it was this way. Oh, I guess we can still do it. Okay. Disappearing floor situation. Okay, and this is over here. All right. Three has not been too bad. Let's just get rid of this guy. Okay. It's in this vault. Oh, some rings. So maybe a regen ring would be nice. Clairvoyance is not too bad. Transference is awesome. Um, and then a ring of light. I think it's going to be transference here. So let's equip that already. And then let's see what... It, um, and then A, as far as in the enchantment. Okay, so I, I don't think we're going to know how enchanted it is yet. Um, but that's a, that's a good ring, actually. Okay, what is that now? Just a normal goblin, okay. I think this guy's okay. Yeah, okay, so we're okay, and we don't have to go through too much swamp to get out of here, so the eel situation is not too bad. 
All right, let's finish up over here. I think this was just full of monkeys, but um, it might be good to fight these guys, actually. And then is there any... I could... Well, let me try it. Staff. IP. Oh, obstruction. It's kind of cool. Let me just look around in here and see if there's anything. Okay, so obstruction is also a good a good one to have. Search, nothing here. Hopefully those monkeys just stay put because they're more of a nuisance than anything else. And obviously there's no no XP to be gained or anything in Brogue. Um, just kind of not dying is the main thing. Gathering up a bit of gold, I guess, for your score. Although, what was that one? Hallucination. That one does not do too much, so I don't think we're going to get it, but we'll get this other one. Okay, detect magic would be nice at this point. Okay, I don't think we need to fight him. Okay. Um, hmm. This could be this could be a little bit bad, but we do have the ring of transference, so just let these blades come up here, and then let's apply the uh, the old lightning bolt there. Okay. Yeah, just attack those things directly. Oh, whoops. Let's just throw. S. Don't throw it at myself, please, over there. Okay, I think we can just take this guy directly on. He's at about half health. We still have a few darts. Um, let's just do that lightning. Why not? Okay, apply. F. Boom. Okay, and all the blades vanish. So I think we've just about done this level. It would be nice to figure out which scroll... Oh, there's a bloat. Uh, yeah. I think well, maybe just a hit and run is going to be the way to do this one, because he's kind of in our way. All right, here we go. All right, not too bad. Um, and I there's a possibility there might have been like a secret room or something, but I think we're okay. Okay, so we're about to go down to five. Um, now let's just think about the potion situation. So... Yeah, any of these are not too bad. So I guess we should just start with them. And hopefully we'll get like Detect Magic. Because um, I'd like to start wielding that Rapier here really soon. So either another Strength Potion or identify which one of these is. Um, in fact, it might even be worth... Well, anyway, let's do a few Potions because I don't see too much harm in that. H. Okay, well, let's get out of there. A Jelly. Um, I think we're okay to just fight this guy. Because we do have that Ring of Transference, which is going to heal us as we hit. So, And then there's a Bloat. I guess we'll do a hit and run on this just to save consumables. Um, that's kind of cutting down our health a little bit. But yeah, so 5 is starting to get a little dangerous here. Um, and I almost wonder if we want to do another potion just to... Um, Figure out what's what here. I, I think so. I'll just do uh, M. Oh, detect magic. Good. Now I know what the other ones are. Oh, good. And we found both the bad scrolls. So let's call. Whoops. Let's go down here and drop off those bad scrolls because there's kind of no use for those. So first of all, call L bad one, and then drop uh, L. And move over here, and then call K bad two oops it doesn't really matter if it's spelled right or not and then drop the bad scroll k so that was kind of lucky so aggravate monster and uh detect magic don't really do a whole lot um and then we just have to remember we can kind of get over and get the rest of those potions which we'll also figure out okay cool and then we can try and just kind of test throw those other bad bad potions when we get a chance Okay, so our health is not too bad. Let's just get rid of this arrow turret. Those things are also a nuisance. Okay, so here's our first situation where we're going to have to face a couple of jackals at the same time, which is kind of which is kind of a test, and that's probably an ogre inside that statue, so I'll have to remember that. Um, okay, so where can we fall back to with these jackals, and also? Okay, the thing is, we don't want to probably throw... I think we could throw a potion. I think it'll be okay. 
I just don't want to burn up an enchant scroll. Um, oh, and that could actually be what would happen. So let's not risk that. Oh, okay, here, and we can just, here's a hallway where we can fight these guys. Yeah, the jackals are nasty because uh, they, ooh, an ogre ally. Let's get rid of this goblin. Oh, a bunch of monkeys who are sleeping, so I'll see them later, please. Thank you. Okay, so there's an ogre ally in there and a bunch of goblins. So I don't think we want to do that right away if we can avoid it. And let's see if we can... Hopefully there's a door here. Okay, because there's something we want here. Okay, and that's another potion of the hallucination. So let's go get rid of this guy. Probably was unnecessary, but... And then let's throw that potion of hallucination. Not at myself. Just get just get rid of it. Those don't do anything. Do not dive into the depths. Um, and then there's another bad something. I think I might grab that potion as well. I think we've identified the enchant scroll now, I think. Um, so I think at least putting one of those in the rapier is going to be a good idea. Um, and that we can kind of treat that as our... Um, I don't know, I guess kind of mid-game weapon, or... I used to just, like, save all my enchant scrolls, but then I was always dying, so... Um, let's actually use them. Okay, that is a scroll of enchantment. G, put it into the rapier. Equip the rapier for G. Okay, that's cool. Um, and then I guess we can figure out what's over here, and then we'll swing back and try to get that... take care of all those goblins. And then there's something good up over there, too, so we'll go and get that. That looks like, what's this thing now? An orange potion, but it's a good one. Okay, so um, it's either speed or telepathy. Um, I think we'll save that. And then as far as the bad one, we probably don't want to deal with all these goblins by throwing a, uh, throwing a potion. So, yeah, and I just realized as well that these goblins can... Um, uh, you want to kind of fight them like on a 90 degree angle if you can because they can um, like two of them can attack you at once if they're directly behind each other so if we can find like a uh, somewhere where we can uh, like there's a 90 degree bend there's only three of them though so with lightning bolt and darts I think we might be okay especially if we can line two of them up let's just check down here I might just pop my head through here and see. Um, okay, we might be able to get at least two of them with the lightning bolt here, F. All right, this is where the mouse is good. Okay, so I got a couple of them. And there's no totem here, so I think I'll throw a few darts just to get this guy softened up so I don't have to do too many of them at once. Okay, and then if I let him step to me, I get the first hit. Oh, I guess I could like go down there. There's kind of a 90 degree, although I'm not so worried about just one of them anymore. Okay, bud. Yes. Okay, this is a really good uh, a really good find for this stage in the game. Um, this is really going to help get down deeper this time because um, this guy can start taking care of like the centipedes and the toads and all this stuff. So we got rid of the monkey. There's a toad. Go take care of him, ogre. Um, are we missing anything on this level? or not. And in fact, we had that detect magic thing, so I think we can just go down. Um, now I wonder, okay, potions. I think we'll want to throw identify some of those potions. And then, oh, there's more level here. What am I thinking? Of course. Yeah. Uh, let's throw, well, it doesn't, hallucinating is okay here. Okay, let's get over here. So, uh, of course, hallucinating. These are probably jackals. So, I hope my ogre doesn't go running in there. Okay, well, that wore off already. Oh, yeah, that's right, everyone in here. These are monkeys. I think I'll just let him go in there. I think an ogre should have no problem with a bunch of sleeping monkeys. Uh, this is stupid because, well, now I need to probably try this lightning again. And you see, see, do I have darts left? Yes, it's probably worth using them. 
that was kind of dumb. They could have actually stolen quite a lot of stuff from me. That would have been that would have been bad. That kind of sucks when you're like reaching for your uh, I don't know enchant scroll and it got stolen or something. Yeah, so we still have that. Um, and then as far as the potions, you could also name all the potions bad, whatever. But I guess that's not really. I guess I'm not going to do that right now. Whoops. And then we might also want to heal this ogre if we can. Um, so I'm trying to think where we last saw Bloodwort. I think there might have been some. Okay, let's check the food situation. Yeah, we're okay to backtrack, I think, for a little bit. And healing this guy is actually kind of in our interest here. So let's memory test here. Okay, there is some Bloodwort. It's kind of a ways, though. That's right. All right, let's go do it. Okay, I feel like this is going to be a good run. So no eels got us on level three yet. Okay, here we go. Heal up, my friends. And uh, let's take another one. Okay, I think we're both at full health now. Auto travel to the downstairs and do it again. Uh, there could be another hidden room up here. I guess it's worth a quick search. Although if there was anything worth having in there, we would have seen it with the detect magic. So it's, who cares? Okay, a lone goblin is not a problem. Okay, now what we want, there's going to be an ogre inside here, I think. Okay, and an ogre is going to be a big problem here. But since I have an ogre ally, presumably if we gang up, it won't be too bad. But let's just kind of go around here and see if we can avoid that for now. Because this is six already here. Um, yeah, so that, and then I have, I thought I had another ring. Cause the, I must have a plus three staff of... Uh, Lightning Bolt, or a three charge staff anyway, because that's been recharging pretty quick. All right, we'll go pop our heads down here. Another enchanting scroll is good. Let's just go grab that before anything happens. All right. Oh, a vampire bat. Uh, let's see, is he sleeping? Yes. Well, I'm thinking with everything we have, we should be okay. And, okay, 14, and I have two enchant scrolls. We could also obstruct something if anything kind of is not looking too good here. Uh-oh. Well, let's go this way for sure then. Oh, yeah, I'm getting this guy for sure. The rapier is, oh, that's an ogre probably in there too. I th I'm not, I'll have to kind of look up a spoiler about how those statues work. I think if you get like next to him, they, and he ran away and didn't get killed. Thank you. Monkey. Let me introduce you to my friends. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. So that looked like that was kind of a dead end. Uh, and then we've got an arrow turret. All right. Let's get the old rapier going there. Another scroll. I think we could probably start... Well, it would be good to get an armor first. Three lavender potions. So is that a bad potion? Yes, so that's... I guess we're kind of saving consumables in a way. Um, because, well, at least in my experience, the ogre allies don't really last forever. That vampire bat was no problem. Oh, but two might be... I guess I'll have to go in here with them. Yeah, okay, and those guys fly erratically too, so sometimes you're just mid-fight and they just sort of flitter off. Okay, uh, let me check the time on the video. Yeah, so we're at about half hour. Um, this has gone pretty well. Um, I'm usually, I either get to this point and then I'm doing pretty decent, or I've like gotten killed by an eel on level 3 or something by now. So, um, yeah, so this has been a pretty good run. Um, so we'll stop it here and pick it up in another one. So, okay, uh, thanks for watching.